thank you, Senator Hagerty, for bringing this up. Um, I've been here uh, now four years, a little over, and uh, you shouldn't have to be fearful when you're just walking uh, on any street, uh, D.C. especially. Um, I think it has an analog, too, across the country. Um, I was in our state capital, Indianapolis, six months ago. Uh, weather was nice then. And from Monument Circle, which is a couple, three blocks from our state capital, had to sidestep folks on the street in the middle of the day. The crime that we're dealing with here is rampant across the country. And I think it's an eye-opener. And this, hopefully, will sail through because it's our nation's capital. But the symptoms, the issues, are the same across the country. You look at another Midwestern town, uh, Chicago, uh, the Mag Magnificent Mile, uh, that stretch uh, in downtown Chicago that you used to be able to feel completely safe. From what happened in the summer of 2020 there and across the country, I think they've got like a 30, 35 percent vacancy rate down there. It's no good. Sooner or later, if you don't keep your cities safe, many that are our state capitals to boot across the country, many run by the same politics for years. To me, this is an excellent way you say that enough is enough. Thank you for bringing it to the forefront, and hopefully this kind of thing will cascade across the country where those same problems are there as well. well thanks to Senator Haggard.